Hello users, and welcome to another episodic installation of Above It All, the series where I make fun of dumbass motherfucking conservatives. So if you're a conservative and you're watching this video, write your triggered comment, call me a queer, and then just get the hell out of here because I don't want to hurt your brain or anything with my facts and logic. But if you're a regular, well-adjusted, socially adjusted, normal person who's looking to laugh at stupid cringe, here's the fucking premiere of Alberta's, uh, like the premiere of Alberta, Jason Kenny, um, saying some really fucking funny stuff. So I happen to know people that live in Alberta, and from their testimony, they tell me Alberta's like, it's like, like take the oil culture of Alaska, but like, like, or it, I guess it's kind of like more appropriate to like just compare it to Texas because Texas does have its oil culture too, but it's like. It's like their entire economy is built on oil, which, by the way, is crashing and tumbling and, and just completely just like into a fucking like it's not even crumbling into the ground. It's crumbling underground. Like, you know, like that's how bizarre this is. So their economy is crumbling. You know, again, I know people their their job status is threatened not to be laid off, but just, just to be fired and in, 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 in like outright. And so when your entire economic like basis is is it your your entire economy is based around one thing and that one thing turns out that it's like imagine if like North Carolina's entire economy were based on making cotton candy so right like so like all the carnivals in the world right like we just fund like you know give them the cotton candy and then oh but oops the pandemic hits and I mean, I guess like, you know, people still maybe will eat cotton candy, but like our sales are down. So should we switch from cotton candy to something else? Or should we just, you know, like subsidize with government, like government and tax paid funds to just continue, you know, the cotton candy production? Because I don't know, cotton candy is awesome. And like, you know, it's just how our culture, you know, our culture is based around cotton candy. I go to work every day. I make cotton candy. So it's like, well, I mean, who cares if it's useless? Who cares if the cotton candy in, like and not like imagine cotton candy, but it's poisonous. Like, well, I mean, I guess it is technically just pure sugar. So in a way it is poisonous. But imagine it's like, yeah, like. Like, you know, like, you know, it causes death in people and, you know, like there's like some outbreak and like, you know, like, you know, like diabetes or something like this is just my, my analogy here. Now, imagine that, except instead of cotton candy, it's oil. And these are real human beings. Tom Ross, 660 News. Hi, um, with uh, the oil and gas market taking such a hit, when do you start thinking about a full on transition away from uh, traditional fossil fuels and when you're talking to American representatives, for example, are you talking to anybody who advocates for a Green New Deal? Um, so, so like, this is the thing, like, again, you can really gauge a lot about someone's brain power when, like, they get this and their first reaction is... <laughs> So let's keep going. As Minister Nixon has said, uh, Alberta has our Technology Innovation and Emissions Reduction Program, uh, which invests in technology to reduce uh, the environmental impact and carbon intensity of our energy production. Uh, when you talk about uh, a, a trans the Green New Deal, listen, um, our focus is on getting people back to work in Alberta, not pie-in-the-sky ideological schemes. Here's the thing. Oil has completely crashed. Like it's, 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 if we, this is now the time where, okay, if you want to pick yourself up by your bootstraps and you want to get a job, why don't we subsidize, like, you know, instead of putting millions and millions of, you know, like of our resources and dollars, whether they be US dollars, Canadian dollars, Saudi Arabian, whatever the fucks, you know, like instead of putting it into this stupid fucking fossil fuel that's damaging the planet and it's also inefficient on that front, instead of doing that, now would be the great time. Everyone's in a pandemic. People are staying home. So people are losing their jobs. So during this, get the paperwork through, get the groundwork through to start funneling people into technology and, and energy that actually is pretty good. Like this is the perfect time for something like the Green New Deal. And of course, again, Alberta's a very conservative province. Like these are like, you know, it's like, it's it's kind of like Texas, but like, you know, the, the Canadian version of Texas plus Alaska because it's cold. 
Where, like, everyone loves oil. I love oil. I love my oil and my guns and my truck. Well, one time I was streaming, like, a year back or so, and I had this, like, really long argument with a Canadian that came into my stream. And, like, you know, he was like, the only thing I care about as long as I can drive my truck from point A to point B, then I don't, you know, I don't care what happens. And it's like, like, okay, well, does your truck have to run on fossil fuel? Why can't it be like, you know, an energy truck like or an electric truck? Like, wow, well, you know, it's just the way it is. I want my truck the way I want it. And it's like these people are just brain dead in a lot of ways. But again, like when you're the premier of a province, you are the person who's killing the brains of your fucking like your, your constituents because you're telling them, all right, yeah, you can't work now. Your jobs like everyone's being laid off around you. Maybe you're next. Maybe you've already been laid off. And instead of like working and you're, I, the industry that you work in is crumbling and might not even exist anymore. So instead of like helping you, like, you know, like paying you for training on setting up solar panels or wind turbines or any of these other things, instead of paying you to learn how to do this so that you can, you know, properly, you know, elevate the economy, we're just going to like hopefully maybe in a couple months get your job back and then... You know, who knows if that job's even going to be there? Because, again, the oil markets are crashing. So, And who knows if it's even going to pay as much as it used to? Because, again, the oil markets are crashing. So let's continue. Uh, we are actually not trying to amplify, but to fight back against the, the political agenda of the green left that has been trying to landlock Alberta. The green left. First, we had the far left. Ooh, now it's the green left. Oh, the humanity. Imagine if we had a consistent and stable like, non-fossil fuel based economy. That's objectively better in every way, but it just requires a little bit of work on setting it up. Oh, the humanity. Oh, oh unbelievable. To energy, so we're not going to cooperate with the folks that are trying to shut down our large, the, the Canada's single largest subsector. You're talking here, and again, it's not shutting down; it's a transition. Like again, like if if you're working in a factory, and right, like the factory is producing like cereal boxes, and then like you want to use that factory to instead produce cereal boxes. Instead of doing that, you produce shoe boxes. It's not like a huge fucking like oh the, can oh I went to the factory for thirty years producing Lucky Charms and Fruit Loops boxes. How dare they! Oh, how dare that! Like, it's so bizarre. Like, it, again, it's it doesn't require that much. It's like an initial investment of training people to do, like, slightly different things in the same kind of style. And then it also makes a much more efficient product that's also much more valuable, especially because oil is crashing while this is happening. I mean, you, you, I, that kind of question in the middle of an economic crisis from a Calgary-based media outlet really, frankly, throws me for a loop. Um, <laughs> a sounds like you're reporting for the TIE or something. Uh, here's the reality. Canada's oil and gas sector... Uh, I love when, like, like, this is like the premier, like a governor equivalent, for those of you that don't know. Like, like just, like, stumbling, like, oh, oh someone asked me a question. Oh, I've never been in this situation. Uh, what? You asked me a question. I oh, oh oh dear Lord, good sir, how dare you? It's employees directly and indirectly. Half a million Canadians has paid three hundred and eighty billion dollars to governments over the past eighteen years. Uh, is uh, by far our largest export industry, um, and Canada has the third largest uh, proven and probable oil reserves on Earth. We are the fourth largest producer and one of the largest natural gas producers. Uh, even in the most uh, bearish scenario for oil consumption uh, produced by the International Energy Agency, they see uh, at least 70 million barrels per day of oil consumption in 2040, two decades from now. That would be down by only 30 percent from the average over the past uh, few years. And in, in that world... That's the thing. He's like, he's citing this sort of statistic as if it's like, like the commandment from fucking like God, right? It's like, this is how it will be 
in 2040. And so you must base all of your actions around this. When, like, no, that's how it would be maybe if we don't do anything and if people just naturally, like, realize and, like, it starts to be capitalistically more efficient for people to c create electric vehicles and so forth. Like, like, if, like, that's the thing. It's like, this is like a self-fulfilling prophecy. It's like, oh, they say nothing's going to be that different, you know, by 2040, so let's do nothing. Like, oh. What? Like, that's a, that is a self-fulfilling prophecy. That's like saying, okay, well, you know, we're going to do nothing, and therefore, when nothing happens, we can say, yeah, we did nothing, so it's we shouldn't have done anything because nothing happened. It's like, what? <laughs> uh, like, hello? Are you... Uh, <laughs> it's so stupid. So dumb. And again, like, people think Americans have this unique stupidity, but no. Canadians, also dumb as shit. They just have a universal healthcare system that's not even that good, by the way. Like, it's decent, it's better than ours, but it's not even that good. So it's like, this is just, like, again, this is like, say, the, like, this is like the Greg Abbott of fucking Canada. Just a complete, like, just, like, vacant motherfucker saying stupid garbage. And it's just so dumb. <laughs> it's so stupid. Oh, God. Really, like, again, people keep looking at Canada. It's like, oh, yeah, Canada. Oh, yeah, so Trump is so stupid. And uh, let me move to Canada. Like, try going to Europe. If, that, if your plan is to move away from the United States to a safe haven that's not as dumb, try Europe. At least, like, even if you, like, throw a dart on the board in Europe, chances are you're going to find somewhere better than the United States or Canada for a lot of this shit. People in Canada are fucking stupid. I'm sorry, they just are.